she said to me, I said, um, okay, what are you going to do? I said, um, I am going to go and see if we can find a place to keep my event. She said, where are you going to go and see if we can find a place? I said, all right, and um, there's a place in Portland. I am going to go and say, well, can you get that place to rent and keep even? So she said, she coming with me. We went to Portland. I and John Hamilton went to Portland. When we went to Portland, and at the same time, there's a guy, um, he was a selector for next, next sound, Frank as well, in, in pass away. So there was a funeral in next as well, and there's a man was keeping a session over by the club near Atlantic. So we went over there because I did some plans to keep the, the, the statue. So when we went over there, we see the man, the man, talk to him and the man, the man, the man say, some of the man, they come from up a mansion, they must say, oh, they must chef and they must this and they must that and, you yeah. know, and I tell them about events, so I want to put on an event and so forth. So they say, yeah, man, you can put it on, we can. So seeing that my hawks, one of the guys for the number and the guy said to me said him dad as soon as him dad get back um me can't get the number from him dad for the owner for the place so there was a lady there she looked like she she's sick in her head so she never because of she she want me to ask her for the place but me never asked her for nothing so anyway me um because she knew everything about the place, the place of the bigs, which is Rana Williams. So anyway, it happened as um, the gentleman came and um, he gave me Biggs number and I called Biggs. When I called Biggs, I said to him, I keep an event and um, I think it is on the 25th, the 25th of December. So how much you would rent me the place for? for the night. He said to me, I said, I must give him $90,000. I said, all right, because it's all good, because a good year I charge $250,000 to keep even a good year. So I'm sorry, give me $90,000. I said, okay. Anyway, it happened as, when he said give him the $90,000, I said, all right, that's a deal. I will give you the $90,000. It happened as no, John leave and go back to Florida. When John went back to Florida, um, John go up and spend like a month and then John, John come down back. When John come down back, um, me call the man when he am Biggs. Rana Williams, O.C. Biggs, will live at 16, 16 West Avenue, Signal, Spanish Town. And this man is a scammer and he's a criminal. And people do not trust him. This man grown and tell people be a lie and scam people. I mean, I got to go to the full hundred. I couldn't understand where I'm coming from and what, am I, what, what I'm talking about. Anyway, when John come down and I call Biggs, which is Rana Williams, O.C. Big from 16 West Avenue, no Signal, Spanish Town, who drive the Silver Fort Range pickup 0572HY. He's around 5 feet 6 inches tall, dreadlocks, shoulder length, and um, locks them at Japota and him hit me ball. Right? And he has a gold tip in his mouth, have a Chilani accent. Right? He always wears some long pint boot, right? The name is Rana Williams. Ronald Williams, OC Biggs. All right. When we went to the, when we went, when, we, when I call Biggs and tell Biggs, say that we want to go and look at the property. Biggs make arrangement to meet, meet me on the Sunday. So I must meet him out at Ken Jones Highway, where we see that big house. Out on Ken Jones Highway, so I will meet with here. Anyway, I, Mr. Jimmy, and Joan Hamilton, would take 
vehicle and we go to Portland. We never rent a vehicle. I would never drive because they would take uh, public transport and we got Portland. When we when we reach out of Texas, out of um, Kenton's Highway, we stand up out there waiting. The time when the man said, when Big said, I turn up, in the turn up, Big turn up late. When Big come, he come with three girls in the vehicle and one man with him. Right? When the guy come out and open the, the gate, because the gate can slide, when he open it, because a fiber glass thing they put up, and it can slide it and up and it, it open. Anyway, when we go down to the house, we see a guy down there named Brown Man and one named um, Trees. Because Trees is passed through the gate I never called to it. And Brown Man was there, Brown Man is a fisherman. Right? So the three little girl that come with Biggs, one year Nadia. Nadia was 14 year old, that a Biggs woman. And the next little one, and Nadia's sister, she's around 11 year old. And another one around 16, right? Those three little young girl and the guy named Daido. All right. Biggs, what are you talking? And we say, all right, once and chill if you drink. So, Big sir, we could go over the, the property and come back. So we drive, we go in on the vehicle. I, Joan Hamilton, Mr. Jimmy, and I do, and Rana Williams, and Nadia. We left the, the 11 year old one at the house and the 16 year old one at the house. So we drive and we go over to the club. When we went over there, we see this woman over there that lived there, a mad woman who lived there. Anyway, when we see her, um, she and Biggs was there talking, and we look at the place and so forth, and Biggs died with the one shoot the woman, because I claim to send her like the woman. And anyway, what did they did they did? I tell the woman, I say, she cooks some food and I give Biggs to eat and Biggs now I eat the food and she said, say, oh, I, I never washed my fish last night, so um, yes, they can eat the food. So anyway, we did the deal until Dad will get pecs and we go in on the vehicle and we drive back to King John's Highway and we go to the house. When we go to the house, there's a gentleman who came there and we say, well, some jelly to drink and the man go up. Big said the man pick the jelly the man give it. And the man pick the jelly them we drink. And we did the attack and big scene they cook rice. I think a rice and fish he was cooking. Cabro man catch a fish, cabro man a fisherman. So when big cook and we eat and everything, cause I do did uh, with the shotgun and walk up and down and there was like in my bodyguard. Bigs and big sweet female um gun a show like him exposing gun like my intimidate people. But two of them something that really shocked me. So me and Mr. Jimmy and Joan outside and um Biggs come out there and Big sit down and Nadia was sitting down outside there that are the fourteen year old where Biggs had the with. So Nadia never looked happy because Biggs must have said something to Nadia because she called Biggs Pops. Every time a pop she called Biggs, Biggs, Biggs came to claim to say I niece. And Biggs have sex with the girl. And the next 11 year old, him have sex with and the 16 year old. So I try them, we come there. Biggs have sex with the them. So, me and Mr. Jimmy, I'm Biggs and Brown Man. So, Joan look on the, 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 the little girl that I'm Biggs in the, 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 the room, I cook, in the kitchen, I cook. And say to Nadia, I said, How old are you? And she said, 14. So, Joan said to her, I said, No, I think she said 15. And Joan said, You don't look like 15. Um, which school you go to? And she tell Joan. So Joan said, then, but to that Sunday, you're supposed to stay home. I look about your, your, your school uniform and if you go to school tomorrow. So she said, um, when she get back home, she will um, look about her uniform if you go to school. Anyway, 
I tap on that sweaty day. So June started to say to Mr. Jimmy and me, I lie, the picnic I tell because she, she look. A big woman, a day big day with the little picnic because me a little daughter and she called her daughter name. A little last daughter name and said, it could have been a little daughter, big to have sex with this man is a wicked man. Look on the little picnic with him and have sex with. So at the same time, I said to Joan, I said, Joan, leave people business alone. Oh, you know, say, man, I'll sex with the picnic. She said, yes, then you know, so the picnic hack. And I call him all pops. Because if I, if I, if I, if I, if I niece, the niece wouldn't call him pops. You would know, call him, you know, call him something else. But I pay pops in the pan, pops, pops. So anyway, we did that, did that. Told you on attack law now. You know, about big that they were the, the little picnic. And, and big that this and big that that. So I said to, I said to Mr. Jimmy, Mr. Mr. Jimmy, you ready? Mr. Jimmy said, yes, Mr. Jimmy laughed and said, yes, I'm ready. I said, Mr. Jimmy, I don't want to get mixed up in this thing, so I better will leave. Because old oh, June, come my people in place, I said, the man, I don't lick up it in them. But something goes over too. But anyway, because we, we never really know so anything go like that. So we leave and we come up on the road. And we left Biggs, Daido and Brown Man. And, and the three little girl along the house. When we get up on the road, we were there waiting on vehicle, we couldn't see no vehicle come. Then we see Daido and Brown Man, that are the one who break my, my ribs. And Brown Man, walk come up, up on the road, and the little 11 year old one. And they walk to Hector's River. So when they walk to Hector's River, um, me and Joan and Mr. Jimmy stamp at the gate, saying we say we're waiting on vehicle. To go a St. Thomas, so we can get something from St. Thomas to that town. When we did that, we see, we see them walk and head to, to um, to Hector's River. And we did that, did a mosquito bite me and June and Mr. Jimmy and I said, you know, we're not standing outside because the place get dark and um, street light. Now the one street light was there, but it never so bright. So I said, no, we can never stop here at night and pick me up, because it's a dark place. So we walk to Hector's River. When we, and we were going to Hector's River, we see, a, we see a, 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 a hearse coming. When we see the hearse coming, and we stop the hearse. And we say, Butty. And the driver said, No, I'm not Butty. A Williams. And the driver said, Oh, no, go. We say, so we say, We have got a tone, but if we get something we got sent to us, we can, uh, that will be good. And we say, Yeah, man, we're we'll not coming at the back of the hearse. I miss him in a job with a nurse when I did when I drive the dinner. When I did come in. And I saw me never going at the hearse, me and June and, and Mr. Jimmy and the hearse driveway. The man said, we don't get something on the driveway. And we walk and go right on under the rock. The building here under the rock. When we walk and go there, we see a, a car ahead to St. Thomas. I will stop the car and the man stop and take me up. When the man take me up, the man take with to Golden Grove. And when you got Golden Grove, we take something from Golden Grove and we go Marant Bay. We take something from Marant Bay and go Kingston. So when you go Kingston now, then downtown, we take something from downtown and go Barbican. So when you go Barbican now, do you want to talk about Bigs and the little picnic them? Say Bigs and the little picnic them. Yeah. So anyway, it happened as I said, I don't business with people business, but I want to do them a fine business. When in time come for them, hold him, they will hold him. Anyway, we leave. Wait, 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 that barbican. So till Joan left and go back, come back to Florida. When she went back to Florida. No, bef before we leave from the house, Biggs say to me and Joan, um, when will I take the place? Buy the place for me and done. I said, buy the place on you. He said, yes. I said to him, said, that place I got cost an arm and a leg because you know, so the place there. I want for money. No, he said, lease the place. He can lease and sell the property. I said, but you don't take a lot of money to fix up that place. And I said, a matter of fact, I don't have a business plan and you can't do business from the top of your head. 
you have to do business that's with a plan where you have a cash flow, your spreadsheet, and your breakdown cost. Yeah, so if you do business for the top of you, you're going to lose. And then you have to see people, science, you have people, you're not going to like that. It's just because you don't have a plan. Yeah, so you have to have a plan. I'm much more than I think about that. I think about my statue. He said to me, say, man, a man like you, we should have a long time around me, man. Because if you have somebody like you around me, we would have, we'll have some money. Right? So anyway, it happened us. Him did and him say, look, me a sugar, I'm soon dead. That our big runner will have said to me, say, yeah, sugar, I'm soon dead. Right? So we must take the place from him. And he have two little pitney. We get one girl from Hector's van and the, the mother dead. Right? And I have the two little pitney them with him. I raise them. So, I did, I did, I did. So, tell me, I said, no, sir. I'm going to take the place. Anyway, we'll leave. As I always say, we got a barbecue and, yeah. June, left and come back, go, go um, to Florida. When June called one day and June said, I'm going to take the place from Biggs. I said, no. She said, yeah, man, I'm going to take the place from Biggs. I said, no. That place will cost a whole million dollars to fix up the place. She said, but, at least and seal the place the pan. So we just buy the place and done. Me say no, me I put on my schedule. So anyway, one day me call Biggs and tell her to meet me on Martin Bay this Sunday. Right in front of the market. Up in the bay. Me say meet me and I will give you half of the money for the um for the place where me, where me keep my schedule. So I'm sorry, alright. Alright, when we meet in the Marant Bay and then come, Raymond was there, Raymond and sell orange in the Marant Bay. But then people in a stop room my phone, man. So may they have twenty-six thousand dollars and when in drive from Marant Bay, I gave it twenty-six thousand dollars and drive the silver foot range pick up chop. With Dai do the same little eleven year old. And the same 14 year old when he and Adia from 16 or 7 or signal Spanish town. And um, him. So when me and him the money, Big turned to me and said to me, say, you know, I have no receipt. But as soon as him get home, him I go do a receipt and screenshot it and send it to me. So I say, alright. Anyway, and leave. No, before I leave, he said to me, Papa, you know, I take the place on me. I said, Mr. Biggs, that place I will cost, I have a leg to fix up millions of dollars to cost because you know, see the condition of the place in there, and a good pen over there, sir. I will put money to take. So he said, Take the place, man, and go and do business, man. So anyway, he um, said to me, Do you want to? June call you, so I said, no. So same time June call. When June call, June said to me, Carl, you know, I'm going to take the place from Biggs. I said, no, because I'm a business plan. And you do a business like that, and I have a place like that, it don't cost too much money if you fix it up. She did that, and she begged me, and she said, but you can't do a business plan, man. I said, all right, I'm going to think about it. So when I said, I'm going to think about it, Biggs, all right, think about it, now let me know where I go on. Anyway, I go home. I may, may go to an accountant and near Peggy from Boston. When I go to her, I ask her, how much we do a business plan? And she tell me. Say, I think it was $15,000. She said, I'm going to give her the money if we do the business plan. When we do the business plan, um, I call June and I tell June so I have a business plan. So we will take the place. June said, alright, the money we give to to Biggs already. Not give no more money. What we're going to do? We'll just give him all of the money we want for the place. With that money, along with that money. 
So I said, all right. Anyway, my future was in December. All right. Um, she went come to Jamaica. When she come to Jamaica, um, we go over Bigs. Over 16 or 17 or 16 in Spanish town. When you go over Bigs. But you can't know, say, something never the right to oh, you see my flex. But me, you can't pick up things. But, you know, she not pick up nothing. So anyway, when you go over there, um, I will go to Bigs. Bigs take me and carry on our back up at the end of the old poles are in work. Where, because where Bigs do, Bigs make mattress and um, pillow and they make bed bottom. Those are the things where Bigs make. Yeah? So he can do he can do woodwork, make furniture, and he can make mattress and he can make you know, a sack and something like that. That our bigs do over the hotel. So when bigs are tell people say one hotel and they own house and they own club, I lie my tell bigs is a liar. I may mean, go tell you know how bigs do me. Yeah, because people don't know all of these things and I don't know where these things come from. When we go over Spanish town, over 16 or 17 or 16 Spanish town, me and June on a Sunday. When we go over there and bigs come from upstairs because I live in a little room upstairs at top top of the which part of the cashier work downstairs theme room there above it that I went stay in that little room you have a little a little um, athlete stove when using that room if you're going to a big room you can say a big room that where big attacks and my money man and you won't tell and place no, uh, and so anyway cut long story short when you come around at the back and they have bigs around there and June. Um, Bigs call one girl named Natalie Williams when he said in data. When he called Natalie Williams in place of phone and speaker and said, Not the people them that here we are gonna take the property from me. No? Um in call another lady from from out a quail I can't bar name but when we remember name we talk when him do that, him said not the people him that here to take the property. So the daughter said to him, said, how much money them have to pay for the property? Him said, no, no yet because they don't no, agree no, 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 no arrangement yet, no agreement yet with me. And so anyway, Biggs turned to June and said, how much you can pay for the property? June said to her, said, said to Biggs, said, I call her the man and me. I call her do the business. So me turned to Biggs and me turned to June and I said, Look, I'm not interested in that place. I'm not going to take my money spent on that place. Biggs said, Come on, Papa. No, man. You can't take the place, man. June said, Yeah, man, I can take it. Anyway, I said to Biggs, All right. I give you 300. And I think I changed on eighty thousand dollar. I hear before he started to about lease and sale. So I get children and eighty thousand a year for the lease. Him said to me said he might go talk about Natalie. When in calling data, in data said Daddy Now take that money for that money the more gear. Now take that money, make the place key there. I said, but Biggs, you see the condition of the place now? I have a good pen out there. Good pen. We go shit up the place and piss up the place and the place is not in good condition. Oh dear. Alright. He said to me, alright, lease and sale. Because I can't buy the property. Alright. I turned to him and I said, alright. Alright. He said, I can have another offer. I said, alright, phone is not $80,000. He said, okay. Him, Natalie was on the phone, see her guy phone was on speaker. And she said, okay, all right. That was the Sunday. The Monday, Big Sam got me three. The more me three up at, the, up at the, the business place. So we can do business. The Sunday now, the Monday, me and June, we got to half a tree. I'm a draw the money. I think major four 
$100,000 and I put it in, in a bag. Nobody can know some money in the bag. I mean, I'm going to disclose it. I put it in the bag and I walk with the money. I didn't have the bus because I take a bus and have a tree and I come downtown and I take a taxi from downtown and come to St. Thomas and take a bus and St. Thomas go up with that. So we, we Diamond Chinilla with Pam Biggs, me and Jonah Milton. When we Diamond Chinilla with Pam Biggs, can't see Biggs are come. We saw a man come down here, see bottom in Cadillac, and he can't send him diving for Biggs and shoot fish. And I see Ben smash him up. That's how he looks so. He said, the man turned around and said, Biggs are genial. Because yeah. that man, we tell him to say, I come and don't come now with that man in that genial. So we did just tell him, he does not come down now. I said, no, sir. This man not come now. And we take a bus. And we head back to St. Thomas. We take some from St. Thomas. And we go with that Kingston. When we reach on a on um Aaron Street, right where the, the, the terminals where the barbican bus is park up. I take out my phone and I call Biggs. I say, Mr. Biggs, where are they? He said, in the pan Spanish road, Spanish town road that come. He man some fisherman. I can't go up to Portland and come now. So I said, but we're not in Portland, we can't go to Portland and this was a night. And he said, so which part of the day? So I said, with the right from the bus terminus on Orange Street. He said, but just stay five minutes away from this man. I soon reach. So I don't know where. Wait for me. When we did the wait, wait, um, I call him back and say, right. I said, my God, send them as bus stop. We let off the, the, the fisherman them so they can take another bus and go send them as. So I said, right, we have to come around, see him place around, sir, in front of the mothers, and wait for you, that are East Queen Street. Me and Joan walk around East Queen Street, and we see Biggs, around there, let off the fisherman them. And we go in a Biggs vehicle, and when we go in and they pick up one, the driver, they drive Biggs. When Biggs let off the man, them and they go in the bus, when we left, when you drive from this, we, go, we catch up a Mikey Pulu, where a councillor duck and seal. We catch a gas station up a half a tree, up a crossroad. Big stop at the petrol station, then buy $13,000 low sulfur petrol and put in the silver food range pickup where my drive. While we were at the petrol station, Big take out two copy. A contract and I hand them to June and June and no one copy June said read this. Mr. Read what? She said read the agreement. Mr. June, no one night. I am not going to do no business at night because how this man come in at night for going to do business. This man a criminal and I do not trust him. See what I'm saying, I vehicle. Big say, Papa, I know so you don't trust me. Yeah. I say yes, I can't trust you because look, you tell me say you come from in a day and no at night. We can't do business at night. How much more when I'm a liar and then something. So well, you do business, sir. Anyway, it happened us. We are dry, we drive from this, sir. We drive that barbican. When we got a barbican, big spark up the vehicle, right? Uh 21 Federal Road, right at John Father Gate. And we know the vehicle. We know the vehicle with the money. And Biggs and the driver and John. Biggs did it, and Biggs have preached to me for signing the documents. Me decide I'm not signing it because I do not trust you. Because why you coming on life to do business? So anyway, same time one brother, one brother, one brother drive up one white tonja, and when he drive up the tonja, the man said to Biggs, "Come out of the effing road, you park in that effing road." Yeah, we run yes, sir. This is our turf. And the man come out of the vehicle and I cuss him and I say, Oh, uh, you won't you get bullet no boy. Bobby can this you then and I say man start going. So same time now I come out with a out of a big vehicle and go to the bridge now. So bridging you have to be in the way there. Yeah. Cause any man can dead. Right? That time bigs having gun pan him. And the bridging 
because I didn't run Barbican. Anyway, big slum in I vehicle, I trimble like, like leave in I vehicle. I'm going to talk to the bridging on the bridging driveway. On the bridging driveway. Yeah, big slum, I go back to my vehicle. Oh, he's going to full up the man a shot. When the man did that shot, I him up, big slum said, and big slum said, and when the man got big, saying, you know, full of man, I shot. So, we did the day, the day, so tell me, I said, the big man, I do no business here. Yeah. I'm come out to the vehicle with the bag and money and go up at the house. When I go up at the house, I um, take out a hundred and something thousand dollars out of the bag and left two hundred and thousand dollars in the bag. And we have a receipt book on the center table. John come in at the house and John said, Carl, please, make me sign the contract. He said, no, I am not saying I don't trust that. And he said, that man a criminal. You know, so when, when, when the man come, the man come in at night, when the man should come in at day for make me do business. So anyway, it happened as John take up the scandal bag that I'm gone in the bathroom and go down long there with the scandal bag and money in the vehicle. So when I come to the bathroom and I see the scandal bag, so I go down, down, down there. And I said, John, are you taking the scandal bag of the money? And John said, yes. I said, where you took out the money for? John said, come in my vehicle. And I said, John begged me and she started rubbing me in and said, Carl, I could sign, sign the contract. And from there, so I said, there's a red flag. I'm still, I'm still, I'm going to sign the contract. When I sign the contract, and John signed. Big sign, the driver sign, right? And um, so before we sign the contract, so I said, I said to June, June said, I said, June said, with the receipt there. Eh? Big sign on the receipt. I said, but we can't do business without a receipt. Come on, you're going to take the money in on, in on the receipt. We have a receipt book, and June go for, we, June go for the receipt book. When John come on, John, I go sign the receipt. I said, John, do not sign the receipt because this man is saying, uh, I will do the receipt. And this John still go behind and, and, and do the receipt. Right? Anyway, Big say, Papa, my sister, you don't trust me. You know? I said, I don't trust you. How much more money we had here? Right? I mean, what is business? I mean, know everything about scamming because scamming is one of the biggest things in England. I saw me tell Big in the vehicle. Anyway, um, we did it, did it, did it, did it, until we come out of the vehicle. No, before we come out of the vehicle, I will count the money. Count the money. I will count the money. Two hundred and sixteen thousand dollars. Right? And we get four hundred. And we get four hundred and eighty thousand dollars. So, also, yeah. But I'm sorry, right? I could do it for six months. He said, but Ali, uh, uh, Ali and Seal made the pun, so Ray, 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 and anyway, we can get the $216,000. All right, we'll come out of the vehicle. When you go back to the house, the next day, we'll go to Portland. When you go to Portland, the lady with the other place don't want to come out. So, me and Demos and Brown man, and um, Joan was there. The man said she didn't come out because I'm a big place. I have to go to report because the place is enough for Biggs. And I'm Rana Williams. Oh, see, Mr. Biggs. So she's not coming out. So we must go take back our money. Because I have got a coat. Because as Biggs a big thief, I saw the woman tell me. And this have got a coat. So I said, all right. I go up on my phone and I call Biggs. Big said, all right, no, no, don't leave. We have come up there. When Bigs come, Bigs come with the same boy when he in crime. Brown, brown man was there with me. And um, AVD come there. And my next tall brother come. And the driver. We drive Bigs. Anyway, when we did it, Bigs take the woman and kill the woman one side and talk to the woman. Right? Big said, alright, she, she, um, when I can't make you steer with another man because she, she clean the place and so forth. I said, no. I said, no. Nothing like that. 
because a lease and sale a lease and sale is the property anyway bigs leave when bigs leave we leave the next day we go back when we go back um me buy two lock and lock the shutter when me lock the shutter um we left out of the building car said he didn't want to leave when me lock the shutter the woman go in and when she the woman go inside the woman lock herself inside when the woman lock herself inside the woman decides that she not come out so we go there and say she come out and she not come out she lock herself and brown man did and brown man while liquor and so forth but you know the woman put on one, 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 one iron pipe behind the door and catch the door so if you even push the door it now open and the door can't open because it cuts from one counter to the door so anyway we did it did it did it did it so till me now go and push the door and when i push the door my hand slide off half of the boat part and the glass my hand go through it and the bus man, the super man, get cut. Man burst. And when he burst, man, um, he start burning me. I saw my father say, I get, me get cut now. And when I look, I spear blood. And bro, man, and June, and Demos, I laugh. And then I said, No, man, I might not cut again. Ah. When I look, man, blood start come down now and see that we see. My brother drive a bus from Hector's van here, man. Can't remember my name, he used to work with Wang. Wang used to work with him, he used to drop a license. And he stopped. And the man take me up. And the man have a big towel and then give me a towel to wrap me and And the driver appeared and carry up a port and in the hospital and then carry him up there. And go in at the hospital. I think at 32 stitches may get in my hand. 32 stitches because when I go there, my pressure gone up. The doctor give me blood pressure tablet to carry down my pressure. And my pressure still up, see me. And them say, I can't leave until my pressure go down. And then give me 32 stitches. So, then call Biggs. And Biggs start cuss. Say, how oh, do you want to make this up, man? You must go find money if you go give me. Anyway, the documents the Biggs give to it is stamped with the palm the line stamp. Right? So I keep on saying to June, Mr. June, you know this document don't legit? This document is not legit here. So, Anyway, with at the hospital, when we feel leave the hospital, because Brown Man did that with me and Demos did that with me and John. When we feel leave the hospital, now we come down in the town of Port Antonio. We leave from the hospital, come down in the town. When we come down in the town, um, we see a lot of people in the town are with Van Vicker. In that night, no Vicker not turn up. So see now we see one, one brother drive one, one taxi come there and he must say Boy if you don't have extra amount of money, we can't drop one anyway So I decided to say boy I'll leave now so I'm going pay my money So John, they talk to the woman who had cleaned the house Old pumpkin John's are away If we talk to Biggs, and Biggs say alright we can go there and go stay the night So when we Jumping on the car and we reach us, the car start boil and the driver stop on the water in it. So when the catch on a Sansan, the driver stop and go big and I security some water. And the car could move. The car could move from this again. So we, when we did it, we saw a seven seater come. 
Let's start with seven seed though. Ejara say, um, give me three grand to drop a note there. I decide to pay $2,000 because I'm me and Joan and Brown Man and Demos. So I say I want $500 each from the rest of the people. Then. People say I don't have no money. So anyway, I'm sorry, I'm going to give him $2,000. And I'm going to give him the $2,000 and the rest of the people then make up and, and get the money. So I drop some people for Scatchon. And then the cab will go out of, out of King John's Highway and leave out of the house. So we sleep out the, 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 the night, man, Demos and Broman, because I don't see it, Broman sleeping, man, Demos. But Demos say when he's downstairs asleep, when he's downstairs, the water run from them down there in a Broman room. So we just sleep on king size bed, so Demos and me and Joe sleep on the bed. Alright, that I mean, I'm in a plaster. The morning early, we get up and we come out on the road. When we come, come out on the road, we see this little punk near every day. That time I first met him every day. He might drive one, one, one seven-seater, one red seven-seater. I come and we stop, we stop him. When we stop him, and him take me up. Me, brown man, and Demos, and John. Every day he start to chat. We're big there, a long time no see man, ray, 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 and, you know? And he started asking about the place and so forth, and I tell him, say, I will take over the place, and me get cut last night, and uh, the woman made me get cut, and so forth. So, anyway, everything we care, we go out there. When we go out there, out of the club, bigs come. When bigs come, no, I lie. How big is I come now? Me go upstairs. And when I go upstairs, um, do man, I don't know how you man is there. So anyway, day to day, day, day so till, um, bigs come. When bigs come, bigs come with every day, and come with the next man, and the same one in a crime. So bro man say a crime, big scary if you kill the woman because a crime claim to say a killing come to kill the woman. That's why one crime where, 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 where break my, my nose, right? Anyway, when them come, the woman did it. And big stick the woman and give the woman $6,000. Because big no one woman for talk. Nothing to make people know something in the property. But maybe I figured out something long time. Anyway, we did it, did it, did it, did it, so till Big Saint talked to the woman. So they, they, they two lock them up put them up on the door. Because the woman they have some liquor in, in their cell. In so we take off the lock them. I mean, she sell her things them and then we can fix up the place and so forth. And anyway, we decided to say, we don't have to fix up the place with the woman in there. So we, we take off the lock them. Alright, the next day, following day, I go back. When I go back, the woman still did it. So I went upstairs. And I started to lick off the lock them off of the door. And I saw me lick off the lock them off of the door. And throw the something them out, out, of the, out of the room. Them. Yeah? And take away something them out of the club and throw them out underneath the almond tree. And I saw big scum up. And big get Allah. Allah from, from Long Road, Koli Allah, that are Ram Dean. If you carry the furniture them, I don't know where you carry them. Go. So all of the bed them and the dresser them and the hassock them, big stick them and carry them. And the curtain them and the sheet them, and take them and carry them. And um, the woman now, um, we did it. So I button up upstairs. That time I never noticed the trees are in C N one because trees come there with me. And trees see one I go there after we leave at night time and tear down the place because I have sex with the woman. Right? Tear down the place. So when we go back there at time, we always see the place tear down. And we say what happened. So anyway, still I go there go see the woman. So 
or this side now, so I'm not making new man stay there. So the woman started to say, oh, this have got a coat because of the mixed place, because of thief. And it have got a coat. So anyway, she never said because she said, Mr. Williams a thief. And Mr. Williams knows kind of in place and it have got a coat because she wants to got a coat. So, I choked this up them and then take them up and then go with them. So like, the things every woman have planned, I tell her I plant nothing there. And I saw the woman start running me down with, I think, uh, he just stole her iron pipe. I don't it. Um, so I see the same detective when he um, Mackenzie passed in the Jeep. I'm a stop Mackenzie. Right? Stop Mackenzie you know, and show him the documents we get from Biggs. And Mackenzie say where the woman there, I'm showing the woman. Mackenzie say that woman me not trouble. That woman a maroon, that woman will kill you no. Know. Me not trouble that woman. And Mackenzie drive with the police jeep. In drive with the jeep. And the woman couldn't stay there. And they me go down, me go down long at the, the police station. Before I go down to the police station, I saw, saw a man there who lived next to her, um, Mr. Palmer. Mr. Palmer asked me what I met Mr. Palmer. Mr. Palmer said, No trouble, man. That's how I come, come get her. I drive, never drive. I walk down to the police station, I'm a brown man and deep as them. And when I go down there, I see one. The corporal in here, Maxwell, thinking Maxwell, the corporal, thinking about Maxwell. When you can the a mile from Maxwell, and smell Maxwell. When we go down there, it's a Maxwell, and me bring the documents with me and show Maxwell, and Maxwell read it. Maxwell, so when I come to the jeep, me and Maxwell go in the jeep, Demos and Brown man, our next police. The police said to them, so where am I going? They must say, them with me. Anyway, we'll go to the out there. When you go there, I tell them, Mr. Palmer said, the woman, the daughter, come for her and take her. And, and I saw, Mr. said, all right, here now, I'm going to move up, bed and something up, up there because I'm going to work on the place and I can't make the place clear. So, so I start, I bring up, I get Mikey. Mikey charged me, I think at twenty thousand dollars. So bring some of them up there and carry them up. So brown man and trees did that with me. So when they did that with me, we cook and we eat and so forth and yeah. Alright. Um we start buying up things. Alright, my stage will come up now. Yeah, Demos, yeah, Verly D come now with me. And Francine Damas. And we did it. So, Brown Man, Early B, Demos, then did it with me. Anyway, it happened us. Work I go on, place a clean up on the foot. Mm. I come on from a stage show. Um, buy the paint them, the five gallon bucket them, carry them up. I get the place painted up, so I have catapult, I have free man. Yeah, then did that paint as a food. Because we started with the painting because the place is in a bad condition. And cut down the, the thing that we did there and so forth. And clean up the place. Um, anyway, what did they? When the stage show, fake heat now. Um, me put a billboard. Um, me do flyer and everything, posters and everything. Put them out. One day I was me me going on the town. Me see one of my brother in a put on the town and me him did that talk. I said to me say, "Yeah, one niece working at the gas station here." So I say yeah. 
I said, I was still some of the that I said, Maureen Data. I said, one daughter, I know Maureen up. And I boom, boom, I live in England. He said, No, man, Maureen, I work up it. I said, I don't know them one day. I go boom, boom, alone, you know. So anyway, he said, Yes, she near Mimi. So, he said, All right. So we did it, and anyway, with my talk and my gear, my grandpa and my gear, man, I think I had $2,000 or $3,000. I made a gift. I ended up selling sell with a girl. When I leave, me go up to, me go up back. When I go up back, the next day I went back to Port Antonio. I go to Port Antonio, I go in at the gas station. And I ask for Mimi. So then I say, Mimi work here? And then say yes. And then say, me say she here and I say, like them a pill and guess because you didn't know me. And I start describing how she look and so forth and me call her man and I remind her on the phone. I remember that talk to me and same time she said, I mean you mimi. I I you need a call and I say yes. I say, Oh me, you bought you a long time, but too many never know you can live in England and anyway she come out. I mean I did that talk. And I go in my pocket and I give her three thousand dollars. When I give her the three thousand dollars, she give me her number. And she give me her number. She said, When you come look for my, my mother, I said, But I don't know what I'm going to live. And I said, Over 30, you know, I see, see your mother. Anyway, um, I leave and I go back up to the business place. I'm going to Kingston. I see, I get a WhatsApp call. So when I get a WhatsApp call, I see this naked picture. It's a, it's a man, he's not one a shirt. I mean, I saw a kind of naked man this uh, come up on my, on my phone. So anyway, when I answer the phone, my sister said, I'm me, Maureen. And I said, Maureen, and she said, yes. I said, I said, I'm not up at the business place now. I'm on my way to Kingston. So call me, call me back. Maybe I can come check me later or check me tomorrow. And she said, all right, she will come tomorrow. All right. She come the next day. When she come the next day, I'm in the upstairs. I see when she come out of the vehicle, because I can't stay upstairs and see. She and her son come out of the vehicle. And when they come at the business place, early B come upstairs and call me. I said, I said, I'm already, man. So when early B attacked her, early B said to me, say, I said, a woman come check you. And she said, you're yeah, not her sister, but that woman, I don't trust her. No. The way she looks, she looks evil. So, I said, my sister, I'm my big sister. And anyway, I go down and me and her talk and her son and so forth. First, I see her son. By talking and talking, me take out my phone now, call Joan. When I call Joan Hamilton, I call her up on WhatsApp call back in Florida. Talk to Joan, introduce the two of them. So I introduce Joan and I introduce her. So anyway, she take the phone and she talk to Joan. I take out five thousand and leave my sister and say, well, when I come to the house, I give her some more money. Anyway, when she leave, when she leave the evening, she and her son. I said, I tell me, I come to my house and I come here. I say, I want to come because she come the Thursday. The Friday, I go draw some money at the bank and pay the guys and whatever with me. Like, really be brown man, trees and demons. Pay them and tell them to go down with my sister. So, I take up one little bag with some clothes and go down down there. When I go down to my sister, um, my niece, that I want to work at the gas station, come meet me. Because they have a next. She have an ex sister named Tash. So her mother tell me, say, Tash, she want to meet me. Because she want me and her to go to a party. Anyway, when we, when we go down, me and Tash left on the, the petrol station and we go to the house. The driver will take me to the house at Tash, uh, uh, Mimi, baby father, making $1,500 for Japan around it. 
Anyway, when I come out of the, the, the car and I walk I go in the house, I saw one bat fly behind me. So when the bat is behind me, bat come in the house with me. So when the bat come in the house with me, bat I sit down for one chair and me um, Maureen said to me, say, see your mother come, uh, your mother around you there? So I saw your mother, she said, oh, you see bat there, and your mother I follow you, your mother I follow you. I saw you know that, she said, yes, and your mother I follow you. And the bat stung in one curtain over my head in the house. Because me never know some Maureen is so wicked. When we did it, uh, me and Maureen attack and her son, the bat over my head. Maureen said to me, say, you know, I call John. And I said, no. I said, John talk too much. I'm not talking right now. She said, call her, man, come on, talk to her. I take my phone and I call John. But which part Maureen live? Um, the internet will pick up this properly. So, I have about $8,000 of credit on my phone. And John tell Maureen to use the credit and call her. And she will send my credit to my phone. I'm going to use my credit and call June. And she and June on the phone at chat that time, I don't know what they chat about. At the time, June, Maureen and I make a plan with June. So, if you take away the property, because then things are June's place. So, anyway, that Maureen, give Maureen the money if you buy something for cook. But um, Maureen, she the type of rice for me because the basmat here are jasmine and Maureen, they have jasmine rice, so she says she doesn't have to buy that. Give them money to buy meat and fish and so forth. So, we did the, the Friday. The Saturday, me and Tash and Mimi, we got one drink out of the The Sunday now, Daddy was Matty cook, that I'm going to live for the cook. Cook and rice and peas and meat. They could have poisoned me, I never know some of me. When we did the chat chat because the bat, the bed I'm asleep on, the bat come over the curtain as in the curtain and dead. Same place in the curtain, but I move. And the Monday now, Matic that I'm going to be with father decide if a father may go up at the business place. When Matic come, they may never give Matic no reckon. Matic start L D was on an um early B. I broke up concrete and this and that. And anyway, I me, me say catch you in that kit state show, so I say, I'll put on a kit upon the place. So we have some wood and some um um two before. So Matic use and make one of oh, the big yet make the frame. When he make the frame we said that I buy the, the thing that I put on the frame so we can um, use it. So, yeah. Up there, um, then I start get text on June. When June text me, so I said, What can I text on June? I sent to me. That time, Tash and I met Planet June, Tash no no June and Maureen. So, anyway. Me and June have an argument and Dr. Fish come out of the idea when me and June have the argument on the phone and Dr. Fish has said, no man, no follow her man, I saw a woman stay and rare. I said, but I'm a sister, they ma, I, I do all of these things with, with her. And I never know, said my sister, they ma, tell her, said they can't get good man to kill me. That I'm a niece, her name Tasha and Maureen, you know, I'm a sister. So anyway, it happened as, um, we did it, did it, did it, did it, so till, um, I say, you know what? I'm going to give up this thing. I'm not going to do no more work by myself. Um, I'll join the, the money I'm spend. Give me back my money and she alone can go and spend our money if she has money to spend. But she did start, but she did.